Hey everyone, my name is Alex and this is the Z-Packs Arc Aerobic 60 liter backpack. Some of these backpack names are getting stupid long. Today I'm doing an overview of all of the features on the base backpack. With Z-Packs you can get a lot of modular add-ons and that's one of the main reasons why I do love Z-Packs, but today we are just covering the base backpack. So first off, this is a 60 liter backpack. Now the whole backpack itself isn't just 60 liters, it's comprised of a 47 liter main body, an 8 liter front pocket, and two 2.5 liter side pockets. Those 60 liters are going to give you enough space for a 6 to 7 day backpacking trip. So as the name states, this is made out of Z-Pack's Robic material. Robic material is Z-Pack's highest tensile strength material, which basically just means it is their strongest material. The main body of this backpack is made out of 100D Robic, which is 3.7 ounces per square yard, while the bottom, rear, and pockets are made of the stronger 210D Robic that is 5.8 ounces per square yard. These are kind of technical things. For those of you that are interested, it doesn't necessarily interest me too much, but it is some cool information. So I don't mean to hate on Z-Packs for this because I really do like the company, but on the website they claim that the Robic material is fully waterproof and it's not. I took my other Robic backpack out just like two weeks ago on a weekend backpacking trip and got rained on pretty hard one of the days. And so while the Robic material did hold up really good in the rain, once it was like fully drenched, the water started to seep through. Like absolutely drenched. Everything is wet everything, most of the things inside there are wet as well. So I would consider this highly water resistant, but not waterproof. <laughs> So as for the weight of this pack, it weighs only 21 ounces, which is about 1.3 pounds and is absolutely crazy. It's when you take this thing out of the box for the first time, when you get it and pick it up, it's mind blowing at how light it is. It just does not make sense to me. And even at that light of weight, you can still carry up to 35 pounds of gear, which again is so nuts. 21 ounces, you can carry 35 pounds of gear. I, I don't get it, I don't understand it. So also as the name states, this is the z Packs. Arc, which is talking about the carbon fiber stays that are the actual frame of this backpack. There are two carbon fiber stays on the back of this backpack. What's nice is that it creates a gap at your back and lets some air flow through, which is actually pretty nice. And also those carbon fiber stays hold most of the weight on your hips rather than on your shoulders. So what's kind of nice is that you can actually pop those frames out if you're gonna be on a plane or if you wanna put this thing into easier storage. One little problem is that when I was backpacking just like two weeks ago, I had one of those things pop out when I took my backpack off and it was kind of hard to get back in when my pack was full but it wasn't that big of a deal. So the top of this backpack is a roll top like any other dry bag that you would use. I do like the roll top. It's nice because you can shrink your pack down as you have less gear or if you were going on shorter trips but as we all know it kind of gets annoying constantly having to roll down that and then roll it back up whenever you want to get to your gear. But that's also the price you pay if you want better waterproofing. I really do think that roll top helps with better waterproofing and it's lighter than having zippers. Also at the very top of the pack, it's big enough where you can fit a bear canister if you lay it on its side. The front center pocket on this is made out of Lycra, I think it's Lycra or Lycra, like, like. anyway, it's made out of Lycra mesh, which is much more lightweight and it's nice because it's a, an added front pocket that you can get to your gear really easily. Now there are two side pockets on this and like I said, they are 2.5 liters each. You can fit a one to 1 1.5 liter water bottle in both both of these. What's also nice is they are slightly tilted forward so you don't have to like dislocate your arm in order to reach your water bottle. It's better than having them just vertical. It really does make a difference. It's getting darker out. It's about to rain or something. I feel like I might need to change the ISO on this thing just so it doesn't look like it's super, super dark in here. On the sides in front of this pack, there are these loops where you can attach modular add-ons, which again is super cool and why I love z Pack so much because you can basically customize your backpack to exactly what you want with these modular add-ons. The straps and waist of the backpack are made up of a 3D mesh material which is softer and more cushioning. The waist has these two straps that come together in a V-strap to one buckle. 
buckle. This is actually super nice because it allows you to fit the waist a lot better than if there was just one strap. It's a small detail, but it really does make a big difference. You can also remove the belt and replace it if it gets too worn out. one random thing I want to put in, but this pack is the storm gray color and it does not look like the picture. This is more of like a blue color where the picture is most definitely gray. So just one thing to keep in mind if you're looking for the storm gray color. As for the sizing, you do have to size yourself before you get this pack and Z-Packs does have some really helpful videos on exactly how to do this. So what's the total cost of this backpack? And again, it's not cheap. The cost of the base backpack without any add-ons is gonna run you $325. So it is very expensive, but you are paying for a top of the line ultralight backpack. Z-Packs, in my opinion, if it's not the best on the market, it is one of the best brands for ultralight backpacks on the market. So let's do a quick recap of all the main features on this backpack. One, it is only 21 ounces or 1.3 pounds. Two, it can carry up to 35 pounds of gear. Three, it is made out of aerobic material, which is Z-Pack's strongest material. Four, the carbon fiber stays, transfer the weight from your shoulders down to your hips. And five, the top of the pack rolls down so you can shrink your pack as you have a lighter load. And that's about it for this pack. I lastly want to say that I am not sponsored by Z-Packs in any way. I just really like the products that Z-Packs makes. I also don't consider myself an ultralight backpacker. I'm just trying to find ways that I can reduce the weight that I'm carrying. And this backpack is a great way I can do that. So thank you all for watching this video. I hope that you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys and answer as many questions as I can. So if you like this video, please leave me a like. It really, really does help me. Subscribe if you want to, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Hey everyone, my name is Alex, and this is the Z-Pax Arc Air S Alex, and this is the pockets are made out of the stronger 210, 210, ah, I'm getting sweaty. I got a song stuck in my head.